Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kim Alexander, I'm a full-time professional photographer and your guide to everything camera related. Today we're talking about the Fujifilm X-E3, a compact yet powerful mirrorless camera that packs quite a punch. The XE3 is the embodiment of the phrase good things comes in a small package. It's compact, lightweight and very portable making it an ideal companion for travel, street and everyday photography. I decided to bring this camera with me on a trip to Bangkok where I was planning to do a lot of street photography. I haven't been using this camera so much before that trip. I had a camera for a while and honestly it's not even my camera, it belongs to my wife. However, the reason why I brought this camera to Bangkok was, well, first of all, because I wanted to be able to talk about this camera to, work to you. Secondly, I wanted a camera that was small, that I could, beside my X-T5, that I could bring those days and into those situations where I didn't want it a too big camera but also where I didn't wanted a very expensive piece of equipment and in both those sense this camera just performed very well um, I really discovered how much I like this camera how I like the size and how well it just sits in the hand and is almost hidden when I'm holding it and secondly when I don't wanted the camera to be shown I could simply just put it down not in a pocket but in a small bag almost in a pocket it kind of depends what I was wearing but just to prove a point it fits in a pocket if you want the main standout feature of the exit tree is the size but besides being compact it also houses the powerful 24.3 APS-C X-Trans 3 sensor. The same sensor that you would find in the high-end third-generation Fujifilm cameras. Therefore, you don't compromise on the image quality when doing photography in any single way with this camera. It's truly amazing how Fujifilm has managed to pack so much into a small camera body like this. Speaking of the sensor, the image quality that the XC3 delivers is nothing short of stunning. The images it produces are incredibly sharp, detailed and full of vibrant colors. But the true hallmarks of Fujifilm sensors is the color rendering. Fujifilm color science is renewed for its good looking colors from the subtle tones in the portraits to the vibrant colors in landscape. The XE3 captures it all beautifully. Besides all that, you also got the film simulation, a popular feature on Fujifilm cameras. This feature is designed to emulate the look and the feel of some Fujifilm classic film stocks, from the vibrant color negatives to the classic black and whites. With film simulation, photographers can achieve distinctive image qualities in camera without the need of post-processing. Moreover, photographers have taken film simulations to a whole new level with what is now co commonly referred to as film simulation recipes or recipes. These are costume settings shared by photographers all over the world and they are just not just the film simulation mode, but also other settings like highlight tone, shadow tone, color, sharpness, and noise reduction, and many more settings to produce a unique look. With the recipes, you could get a very specific look that emulates everything from classical film stocks to effectful color tones. The choice is. The choice is yours and the possibilities are endless. This feature is yet not unique to the XE3, but the XE3 is nice in this sense since it allows you to type in a costume name on the preset, which helps you to remember exactly what your recipe is. Some of the older cameras was missing this feature and it could be tricky to remember which simulation is which one. 
But you need to keep in mind, though, that recipes only applies to JPEGs. Therefore, I should both RAW and JPEG at the same time. The film simulation, however, applies to the RAW and can be changed in the RAW developer afterwards. Another feature that is often overlooked but is truly appreciated by photographers is the drive mode switch. On the XC3 you have a dedicated switch for single, continuous and manual focus. This means you could swiftly change your focus mode on the fly without having to dig into menus. For those unfamiliar, single focus mode is great for stationary subjects. Continuous focus mode is useful for tracking moving subjects. And manual focus gives you complete control over the focusing process with effective focusing aids. Having a dedicated switch for these modes are incredibly handy and efficient. Besides the switch, you can also program the camera to have back button focus in only one of these modes. Personally, I use back button focus in the continuous focusing mode and regular shot and button focus in the single mode. That gives me the best of two worlds. Whether you're shooting a still life, a dynamic street scene, or manually focusing with vintage lenses, or manual lenses in general, the XC3 got you covered. We've been talking about the focusing features, but how is the AF performance of the XE3? Well, it's good, but it depends a lot on the lens. But if you pair it off with the newer Fujifilm lenses, it's a good performer where all features, where all focusing features are usable and good. This is not the case for some of the older cameras, but on this one you could use continuous AF, multi-zone AF, uh, zone focusing and everything else that the camera has to offer with great confidence. This camera also provides face and eye detection that gets the job done. There is no doubt however that the focusing performance have taken some big leaps forward with the later released X processor 4 and 5 and newer camera models but the XC3 has reached a point where the focus is good enough and works in a good way and satisfying way. The Fujifilm X3 is a fine example of camera ergonomics done right. The first thing you notice is the compact form factor, which doesn't compromise on user comfort. Despite its small size, the X3 sits comfortably in the hand thanks to the well sculptured grip in the back and the front. At a thumb grip, and you got even better grip on the camera, but it's not needed as some other cameras. Despite its lean size, the X3 is designed for usability, making it an attractive choice for those who appreciate an uncluttered, effective shooting experience. Its ergonomic designs reflects on a careful balance between traditional controls and modern functionality. In all, the Fujifilm X3 delivers an ergonomic package that are very good. In conclusion, the Fujifilm X3 is a fantastic camera with an amazing small sight. It delivers excellent image quality with the distinctive Fujifilm colors and the dedicated focusing drive mode switch is a welcome future for photographers of all levels. This is one of the best small cameras ever made by Fujifilm and in my opinion it even outperforms the new XE4 mostly for the ergonomics and the physical switches. It handles well and it comes at a good price. I got mine for $400. Pair it up with an TT Artisan 27mm pancake and you end up with a small and powerful camera for around $550. That's pretty good value for the money. Or it's an amazing value for the money. That's it for today's look at the Fujifilm XC3. I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to take, get more photography content. Thanks for watching, I see you later.